Hi friends, welcome to my channel. This is Marsha Furman and thank you for joining me on this ninth day of Inktober. I'm sure you've noticed I haven't been doing videos for Inktober every day. In fact, this is actually my first one. But if you wanted to follow along with my daily drawings, feel free to follow me on Instagram for that. Uh, I'll have the link below with my Instagram handle. So yeah, this year I decided to challenge myself by sticking to black and white only and just using a big pen. That is actually a big challenge for me because I love color and it's, I don't know, it's just kind of foreign to me to stick to black and white. It's just, it's, it's not what I'm used to. So this year I decided to try to reach past that. So I had this little sketchbook that I got in a subscription box earlier this year and I decided to use that as well. Weirdly enough, right away I realized I do not like using tiny sketchbooks. This sketchbook is pretty thick. I don't know if it's quite an inch thick, but it's pretty thick. It kind of makes me uncomfortable for my hand to be kind of, I don't know how to describe it. Like my hand rests on the paper while I'm drawing and since it's like an inch off the table it's kind of awkward so as you can see at the beginning of the video I opened it so that there was only one page sticking out onto the table um, it just made it me able to have more control whenever I was sketching but then later I shut it like in the normal fashion so that I could continue and it wasn't so bad so when I started out Inktober, I had like a bunch of pens that I was going to go in between, like some microns in my fountain pen. <clears throat> but then I quickly remembered that I love just using a big pen. I, I just wasn't just wasn't feeling it with those other pens. Except for a couple washes that I did yesterday, I used some India ink. I've been using only a regular old boring big pen and it's just, it's so great. You should definitely try it. I love how you can get different thicknesses depending on how hard you press. I mean, of course it's not like a felt tip marker or anything, but there's a lot of control. You can do very, very light cross hatching if you want and you can make them pretty bold. So I'm really enjoying that. And I also love how if you want to do washes of color over the pen, it's it's gonna stay put. It's it's not gonna bleed anywhere. So that's really really great. So today uh, the prompt is swing. I thought about it a lot. I thought about doing something with like mood swings or you know other ways to swing. But I just think swings are really cute. So I thought, what kind of animal could I put on a swing? Came across a um, chameleon and thought I would just go with it. It's kind of strange because I chose to use this tiny sketchbook and the black and white because I thought if I at least make it smaller, I won't have to make such a huge picture and I won't be as stressed out about Inktober this year because for some reason I always get stressed out about it and it's not supposed to be about that. I also decided that I wasn't going to try to do YouTube videos every day. Like I tried to make it as easy for myself as possible so I could keep up with my other stuff. and. It has been working, but because I haven't been doing videos, I've been feeling a little down about it. I see everybody else is coming out and I'm like, oh, the pressure. I wish I wish I would have done it. Like, so if anyone has any tips for like learning how to relax at stuff, I need it. It's just kind of a ridiculous thing. This is supposed to be something that is for fun, to help you grow, but in a non-stressful way. For me, it just, it never is. I don't know, I'm not really preaching about how to fix it, I'm just confessing. <laughs> and one of the hard parts for me is the beginning of October is always a really, really busy time for me because I go back to Pennsylvania and do Franklin Apple Fest. That was this last weekend and it was an amazing, wonderful time, a great success as usual, and I had a blast. But I am totally tired and I feel like I'm just eking by right now. I have been going through all my stuff, putting it back in its proper places, you know, putting my prints away, counting my inventory, stuff like that. I have most of it done, so I'm starting to feel a little bit 
more myself. So I'm hoping that I will be able to dedicate a little bit more time to my Inktober sketches and also just kind of be more relaxed about it because that's it's supposed to be fun and it's gonna be fun dang it I'm gonna make it fun if it's the last thing I do I am rambling so much I don't know if anything I'm saying is making sense <laughs> guys thanks so much for putting up with me seriously thanks for coming to my channel and taking a part in this check out all my other links and be sure to subscribe. Also, leave a comment. Please leave a comment. It's not only to like boost my ego, which, you know, <laughs> everyone likes a comment now and then, but it also helps uh, my YouTube videos get pushed out there a little more. You know how YouTube is. The more interaction, the more it gets out there in the algorithm. It's so weird. So yeah, leave me a comment. Seriously, tell me if you liked this video, if you thought it was stupid, if you hate pens, if you love pens, um, or tell me your favorite uh, kind of food or stuffed animal or if you like peanut butter and jelly or not, because I don't. I think it's disgusting. I love peanut butter bread, but not peanut butter and jelly. All right, I've talked a lot and I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed my little chameleon and I hope to see you again this Inktober. I will plan on doing another video in the near future, but probably not tomorrow for Inktober anyway, but I have a couple other fun things planned. Watch for those. I'll see you later. Thanks guys, bye.